love talking to coach after a lot of penalties have been called. And I bet you he's just going nuts down there on the bench. What's this, seven power play goals now? Out of Almost everything goals. being uh, I believe being six. like that, and here we go. And it's going to be Andy Burton. He's going to go at it with Joe Schweiger. Meanwhile, Sutton better be careful. That John Sutton will He could get called the for fight. the third man in right there. And this will turn into an all-out brawl. Every player on the ice now dropping the gloves. Uh, John Sutton, sure enough, was uh, looking to, uh, to help out Joe Schweiger. Look at Kohler. He's trying to he call on. Cupid right and now. a few more men will in. Here go the goalies. It's going to be DJ Kohler and Rob Cupid. They have decided to meet at center ice. Rob yeah. Cupid Kohler getting, getting calling the gloves on. off. And meanwhile, every other player has dropped the gloves. DJ Kohler and Rob Cupid have nothing but time Holy and cow. space. Cupid just giving it to him. My goodness. None of the officials have no, officials have no idea anything to do about Rob Cupid and DJ Kohler. Oh. Cupid will get the right hook and take Kohler to the ice, and that will do it for the two of them. <laughs> DJ Kohler drawing blood, <laughs> dripping from his nose, and yeah, they will Kohler. shake hands. Kohler took a beat in there. And uh, DJ Kohler, Rob Cupid, congratulating one another on their goaltender fight. I don't think they're going to get penalties, ice. too. I don't think they are. Because I don't even think the, uh, the linesman knew what was going on. <laughs> I don't think the officials saw. Meanwhile, players still fighting. Jerseys off, helmets off, gloves off, scattered all across the ice. And boy, well, who, oh was boy. It? who was it that went after Stewart? Because he doesn't even have a jersey on. And uh, you know what? The league better start realizing that if you're going to fight, an Eastern Michigan player, don't pick Rod Stewart. My goodness, Rodney Stewart is the last guy on earth that you ever want to That's upset. a lot of blood on the ice. I mean, oh my I think Kohler, I don't know what Kohler was doing, but he was calling on Cupid for at least a couple minutes. Yep. Cupid finally had enough, went over there, and uh, like you said, he put a beat down there on Kohler as uh, Kohler's just going to come out of the net and we're going to see Berta again. All five. But uh, the crazy thing about that, they shook hands after that. Yeah. Only in hockey. Well, only exactly, only in hockey. You leave it on the ice. It was a great fight by DJ Kohler. It was a great fight by Rob Cupid. You know, they had the time and they had the room. They knew that they were just going to go out to fight because it's part of the game. They wanted to rally up their team. Yeah, Davis, and they, yeah. Chad, we really thought that the team was going to come out and play a, the same game they played yesterday and maybe even pull out a win, but it just didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, you know, the first period came out to a slow start, and we got ourselves in some penalty, penalty trouble, and, uh, you know, you can't do that, and kind of carried over to the second, and, uh, you know, with the third period, just out of control. So it's one of those games, um, you know, that you want to just move on from. Next week against UMD, um, does this give us some momentum going into that series, especially coming off the wins last weekend at the, sh at the uh, tournament, and then this weekend playing a good team like Illinois? Yeah, I mean, we were really starting to get on on track, even with yesterday's game, and we had a lot of inconsistencies today. So, if we can just you know put it all together like we did uh, you know Friday night and, and last weekend, I think things are uh, on the upside for us. So, yeah, we're looking forward to playing them. It's another rival right before the end of the semester, and it uh, should be a good one. Here with head coach of Illinois, Chad Castle. Chad, congratulations first on the two wins this weekend. Thank you. Um, is this what you expected out of the out of both teams? Did you expect? Uh, uh, well, I, your team obviously didn't come out of the gate real well yesterday. Right. Were you expecting probably a better game from them yesterday? But then today, they definitely played the Illinois hockey. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Friday, I thought we didn't play very well, and and um, you know, just the energy wasn't there, the effort wasn't quite there. Um, you know, your goaltender played outstanding both nights, which you know I think was a a big part of it. Really well on Friday night, and. Um, you know, shut us down pretty well on the power play. But it was a, you know, your guys worked hard, and it, I know it ended up three to nothing, but you had a crossbar and a few opportunities. Berta played well in net for us, so um, it was a great game. What did you say to your guys after the uh, close one yesterday? Well, we just needed to come out with a better effort. You know, we, we were coming off a loss at Lindenwood um, where we, you know, had no energy and didn't play well, and then I felt, you know, it was a similar game for us on Friday night against you guys, and, and you know, now we're on break here for a few weeks, so it was important that we got it turned around and got a little momentum heading into break. And you must have felt good about your special teams tonight. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a different story tonight. Power play was clicking, and, and um, you know, I thought we did a better job of getting traffic in front and not letting the goaltender see the puck so, uh, so easily. So uh, I was very happy with it tonight. 
And then obviously the last thing in the game tonight was all the fighting. Um, have you ever experienced anything quite like that? You probably have, being a, a coach, but how long has it been? Uh, it's been a long time, yeah, since we've uh, you know had an incident like that. It's unfortunate, and, and um, you know it, you know, but it, it can happen, and, and um, you know now they'll have to serve the crimes. Right.